Hello, and welcome to Ask NCM. I'm Steve Hall, and I'm gonna bring you another question today. This question comes in from, I'm not sure if it's a service or a parts manager, but somebody in fixed operations. It says, our recently hired used car manager wants to start keeping some lower priced, higher mileage used cars to sell to our customers. They are asking me to discount my reconditioning prices on these vehicles, but isn't that just opening the door to cheaper recon on all used vehicles? Well, that's a great question, and it's a common question. And what happens sometimes is whenever we get a manager change or a philosophy change, they want to start keeping some of these what we call C cars, out of warranty, higher mileage, but still quality cars to sell them. Cheaper price, there's a big demand for these, but reconditioning is always a concern. I'm a big believer that if you can keep these cars, get them recon effectively, and not blow them out of the water by having a $3,000 recon bill on a $7,000 car or something like that, you can actually make money for both the service, parts, and also the used car department. So fixed operations wins along with variable operations. What you want to be sure though is if you're going to discount these, which sometimes is necessary in order to get them reconned at an appropriate expense, make sure you have well-defined parameters and so that you're not letting this bleed over into your A and B used cars where you're discounting things that are unnecessary to discount. So if this is incremental business, great. If you've got to give a little bit of a discount in order to get that incremental business, great. Just don't give up the discount on your primary used car reconditioning on this. This will help grow your business and it'll make more profit for both departments and the dealership as a whole. If you have any questions that you would like for us to address, just send them to asknCM at ncmassociates.com and maybe your question will appear in a future segment.